Here is a vintage Sorel ventilator, number 317, Sorel ventilator, otherwise known as a fan. This has got to be one of the weirdest fans that I've come across so far. Pretty cool find though. One weird thing about this is that Sorel doesn't make fans. They manufacture footwear. Another weird thing about this is that it's made in Italy. How often do you ever see a vintage desk fan made in a European country? In the United States, anyway. Hardly ever. If ever. So these European made fans pop up on Etsy every once in a while. And I always look at them because I think they're really cool. They just have kind of a distinct like space age, atomic age design to them. And um, the problem though is that they're always shipping from overseas, Greece, France, Germany, Netherlands, wherever. And they're always set up for 220. And I clicked on this one because it actually had the box with it. The box is pretty cool. It gives zero information other than what you see on every side of it. Pretty cool though. But when I was looking through the pictures, I noticed that. It has a sticker on the bottom that says V.110. And I thought that's peculiar. So I looked at the shipping information and it said that it was shipping from New York. So this is the first opportunity I've had to buy one of these fans shipping from within the US. I was just not really willing to have a fan shipped from overseas. I've had enough trouble having fans shipped from one or two states over. Shipping a fan overseas just isn't really something that I'm willing to do. So the price was reasonable on this. It was one of those Etsy stores where they flip stuff that they find in estate sales. And every once in a while, you can find an Etsy shop that does things like that. And they actually sell the stuff for fair prices. And they don't mark them up too crazy. And I saw the price on this and uh, thought, wow, the price is pretty reasonable. Uh, I bet the shipping is pretty outrageous. And I looked at the shipping cost and it was, uh, I want to say it was less than $10. So that kind of sealed the deal for me. And I bought the fan. Um... And I started wondering how a fan like this could have ended up for sale in the U.S. And I started doing some reading about the Sorel company. And apparently their boots were originally made in Canada. And then they started outsourcing some of the production to Italy. So I'm guessing that this was just like a one-off business opportunity an experiment sell some fans probably in a select department stores where the Sorel boots were sold um, I don't know I was able to find zero information about Sorel fans or any vintage desk fans made in Italy being sold in the United States absolutely zero information so I'm thinking that this is probably extremely rare. I don't really know. Pretty cool though. I haven't done anything to the fan. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't oiled it. I haven't even seen the motor or anything. Bearings appear to be free. It doesn't have a guard on it, which is um, 
There's nothing wrong with it. That's just how it was designed. And it has a one speed push button switch. Here is the plug, molded plug, looks like 70s, I'm going to guess early 70s for this, possibly late 60s, most likely early 70s just because it's all plastic and um, I mean that looks obviously late 60s, early 70s to me, just the general design of the box as well as the fan. I'm guessing that they put the uh, the switch on the plug because they don't want anybody getting their hands too close to this to turn it off or on. Not that it would really injure anybody, but um, I mean, I, I would assume that if I reached over to turn this fan off in the middle of the night and I ran my fingertips into that blade, it would be a rude awakening for sure. Pretty neat little fan though. Pretty excited to finally have something like this. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit bigger. They didn't really specify dimensions in the listing and I didn't ask. I just kind of assumed that it was going to be an 8 inch fan but um, should have known better. It's a 6 inch blade. One speed. Runs pretty good. Moves decent air. Uh, I've got the airflow tester here. Pushes that right up, so that's a good sign. It's not the strongest 6-inch fan I've ever seen, but it's no slouch either. It's pretty decent. There's not a lot of pitch on the blades, though, either. Let's see what the spin down is like. Spin down's not bad. Plastic is pretty decent. I mean, it's a little ruffled, probably just from sitting in the box for a long time. Seems to be pretty decent quality, even though it's all it's all plastic. Uh, it's a pretty cool design. Looks like it's well made for what it is. I think the blade probably just pulls off. Looks like it. I will take this apart probably sooner than later. And um, curious about what the motor looks like. I'll have to oil it. I'm guessing this fan is probably new. It's extremely clean. There's no dust. There's zero dust in there that I can see. It's not dirty at all. There's no like there's nothing wrapped around the motor shaft unless the uh the people who sold it to me cleaned it up really well, which that hardly ever happens. Um I'm guessing that this was never or very rarely used. Have you guys ever seen a vintage fan uh, from Europe anywhere? Made in Italy or Germany or anywhere show up in the US? When I first saw this I was under the assumption that this might have um, come over in a migration situation in somebody's luggage or something. But, um, no, it's set up for 110, and I believe that this was sold here. So, 
it's pretty cool pretty cool find again I gotta think that this is probably extremely rare I don't know what company would have made this fan it was probably a more common fan in Italy at the time in the 70s um, but I've never seen one before this is the first one I've ever seen in person we'll run it one more time Made in Italy, V.110. That's the only information they give you about this. That's it. Alright, so that is the... Sorel ventilator number 317 fan from Italy. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching.